You know, it makes me sick even when I think to myself. And I have to look at myself in the mirror. And I don't quite like what I see because I just feel so powerless. And I see this ugliness, this filth, the horror. And I can't imagine how we're going to get out of this. How is there going to be a future for the children, for our grandchildren, our great-great-grandchildren, if the human race is to survive? What kind of world are we going to leave them? And if everything goes to shit, one day I'm in heaven or I'm hovering around as some ghost, I'm going to have to look down and I'm going to have to see All these people suffering, starving, living in horrible poverty and ruin, stripped of rights. And I'm going to have to know, look down and I'm going to know. And they're going to say, why? Why? And I'm just gonna know, man, it's because I wasn't strong enough. I wasn't good enough. And I didn't do anything to stop it. I couldn't do anything. Because I'm just too weak, too incompetent. I don't have enough resources, you know? You know, it kills me, man, you know. I gotta watch my sister, like, just know that she's living in some filthy camp trailer surrounded in trash because I don't have the fucking resources to do anything about it. My mom's husband lives in a fucking camp trailer because I don't have the money. I don't have the resources to do anything about it. I'm living in a fucking motel because I don't have the fucking money, the resources to fucking do anything about it. I got to watch. Well, the world just goes crazy and, and, and I got to everywhere I go, man. Everywhere I go, when I go to a grocery store, I go to pick up a sandwich or something, I gotta drive past and I gotta see all these people living in their cars. All these people that don't have any kind of roof over their head or they're sleeping in a car with their dog and everything they own piled in the back of their car or their truck. And and I know that could be me, but I also know like it's too much. It's like I can't I can't do anything about it because I don't have the resources. And even if I had a billion dollars, I could only help so many. I could build, you know, big villages or something, or buy up trailer parks just so I could hand out the keys and let a bunch of people move in. <laughs> you could build, a, build villages, places where people could go and live. But it wouldn't be enough. You know, it wouldn't be enough. And I'd have to still walk past or drive past a bunch of people sleeping under a tarp and a tent I know that there's not a damn thing I can do about it. God, it makes you makes me so sick.
You know, I can see some guys sitting on a, somebody sitting on a street corner, cold and hungry. Maybe I buy buy him a sandwich or give him some money. And there's tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of more just like him. I can't buy everyone a fucking sandwich. I can't. <laughs> you know? Just the feeling of helplessness. Of not having the power and the resources to be able to do anything to fucking fix this shit. It makes me so fucking sad. And I feel guilty. Being a member of the freaking human race and having to watch as we're just poisoned and, and corrupted. Like you're born and you started out right away. This social operant conditioning and the just the brainwashing and the propaganda fed poison. I mean, like sugar alone, just by itself, cane sugar, high fructose corn syrup is so poisonous. It's when they tested that stuff, they gave it to they gave it to dog they put it in dog's water and the dog died. And they're like, oh, that's safe for human consumption. And then you got all these GMOs that bugs won't even touch. <laughs> you you could put a freaking, like, Big Mac or something in a pile of ants, and the ants will just walk around it. Like, they're, they're, they're too smart to eat that shit, you know? <laughs> a lot of the stuff, right? It's just, they're fucking poisoning us in every conceivable way. Poisoning our minds and our souls, poisoning our bodies, you know, our, 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 our shampoos, detergents, soaps, everything, our, you know, the stuff they, they put on our clothes, everything, just chemicals constantly being poured into our bodies. It's hard to even find, like, food at a, you could go into a health food store like a Whole Foods or something. And they got thousands of gallons of alcohol next to the so-called health food. You can't even tell because there's no law making it so they have to label GMO. Right? They're putting bugs in our food and shit. <laughs> got us eating crickets and... Like... Have you seen how many warehouses and factory farms and things have been destroyed? Like how many train derailments and chemical spills and fucking farmland and dumping shit in the rivers? Like, we were... <laughs> oh, God. And we got all these... All these signals irradiating us constantly. You know, the human body is almost, is mostly almost entirely made of water, you know? And, uh, so the electrical currents that, from all the different, like, Wi-Fi and radio waves and so on and so forth are traveling through our bodies, attenuating us to their frequencies, you know? And most of us are, you know, we're not insulated, we're not grounded, so we're just basically being kind of, like, electrocuted. At all times, basically. And we wonder why people get cancer and <laughs> all these other sicknesses, you know? I don't know, maybe it has something to do with all the chemicals that are being dumped into our bodies and all the radiation that we're being hit with constantly. <laughs> like, oh gee, I wonder if that has anything to do with it. And they're going to give us medicine to help us because they love us so much, right? The same loving, wonderful people that... <sighs> you know how many poisons, like, there are in the world? It's just... And, and how many people would have to be involved and how many resources and things... And hours and fucking human and material resources had to go into creating that stuff. You know? It's like, 
it boggles the mind. There. Why would they? I mean, what in the hell, man? 